Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read stem and leaf plots and how to basically understand what's going on within stem and leaf plots. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way to organize and display data. We will go through three examples. An example with two-digit numbers, an example with three-digit numbers, and an example with decimals. This should give us a pretty good understanding of stem and leaf plots. Let's jump into our first example where we have a stem and leaf plot displaying the ages of the students in, let's say, an evening cooking class. So when working with stem and leaf plots, every value is split into a stem and a leaf. So these ages are going to be split. So here are all of the stems, and then here are all of the leaves. The stems are on the left, and the leaves are on the right. Now, what do those stems represent, and what do those leaves represent? Well, let's look at this key right here, and this will tell us. Stem and leaf plots can include two-digit numbers, three-digit numbers, decimals, whatever the case may be. So the key will tell us what we're looking at. This key says that a stem of two, so stem on the left, and a leaf of three, leaf on the right, equals 23. And we have a label of years here since we are working with ages. So that tells us that the stems represent the tens place, the tens digit. And the leaves represent the ones place, the ones digit. So up here for number one, what do the stems represent? Well, again, the tens place, the tens digit. And then what do the leaves represent? Well, the ones place, the ones digit. So looking at the stems, we have two, three, four, and five. So we have the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. Think of the stems like this. The stem of two is in the tens place, and then the leaves will be in the ones place. That's the 20s. And then we have the 30s. So a stem of three, and then the leaves in the ones place. Then we have the stem of four with the leaves in the ones place, and then the stem of five with the leaves in the ones place. So the leaves will be the ones place. They will fill the ones digits here. Let's put this all together here and look at the stem of two. So if we have the stem of two, let's move over to the leaves where we have zero, three, and seven. Zero, three, and seven. Now, if we put the stem and those leaves together, we have 20, 23, and 27. So those are all of the ages in the 20s. And looking at the stem and leaf plot, we have a 20s group, a 30s group, a 40s group, a 50s group. So everything is organized. Let's move on to number three, where we have a stem of three, and a leaf of seven. So what does this equal? And if we look at the stem and leaf plot, stem of three, leaf of seven. Well, let's put that stem and leaf together. The three is going to be in the tens place, and then the seven is going to be in the ones place. So that gives us 37. So again, just putting that stem of three together with that leaf of seven, and that gave us 37. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we need to list all of the ages in the 40s. So let's take a look at the stem of four and then these leaves. So let's put that stem together with all of those leaves. So let's start with 41, then we have 44, then we have 46, then 47, another 47, and then we end with 49. So those are all of the ages in the 40s. 
So there's our two digit example. Let's move on to our next example. Here is a stem and leaf plot with three digit numbers. Let's jump into our example where we have a stem and leaf plot displaying the number of orders a business had per day over the last 20 days. Now what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, let's look at this key right here and this will tell us. This key tells us that a stem of 22 and a leaf of nine equals 229. And since we are working with orders per day, we have a label of orders. That tells us that the stems represent the hundreds and tens place, and then the leaves represent the ones place. Now looking at numbers one and two, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, the stems again represent the hundreds place, the hundreds digit, and the tens place, the tens digit. And then the leaves represent the ones place, the ones digit. For the stems, we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we have the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. Think of the stems like this. So our first stem of 20, the hundreds place and tens place, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then we have the stem of 21, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then we have the stem of 22, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then the stem of 23, leaves go in the ones place. And then lastly, the stem of 24, leaves go in the ones place. Let's put this all together and look at number three, where we have a stem of 24 and a leaf of eight. So looking at the stem and leaf plot, stem of 24, leaf of eight. So the hundreds, tens, and then ones. That gives us 248. So again, stem of 24, the hundreds place, the tens place, and then a leaf of eight, the ones place. So we put the stem and the leaf together and we get 248. And then lastly, let's move on to number four where we have list all of the orders in the 220s. Well, we need to look at the stem of 22 and put that together with the leaf of three, the leaf of four, the leaf of six, the leaf of eight, and the leaf of nine. So we have 223 orders, 224 orders, 226 orders, 228 orders, and then 229 orders. So those are all of the orders in the 220s. Now, just in case you'd like one more example, let's go through the 230s. So 230s are going to equal, well, we need to look at the stem of 23, and then we will start with the leaf of two. So that will be 232. Then we have the leaf of three. So 233. Then the leaf of seven. So 237. Another seven. So 237. Then an eight. So 238. And then lastly, a nine. So 239. So there's our three digit example. Let's move on to our last example. Here is a stem and leaf plot with decimals. Let's jump into our example where we have the race times of the students in, let's say, a high school gym class. Now, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, we need to look at the key right here, and that's going to tell us. This key says that a stem of 14 and a leaf of eight equals 14 and eight tenths, or 14.8. 
and this is labeled seconds because we are working with race times. That tells us that the stems represent the tens place and ones place, so the whole number. And then the leaves represent the tenths place. So looking at numbers one and two, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, the stems represent, again, the tens place, the tens digit, and the ones place, the ones digit. Or we can think of this as the whole number. And then the leaves represent the tenths place, the tenths digit. For the stems, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Think of the stems like this, and we will start with the stem of 12. So stem of 12, decimal, and then for the tenths place, that's where the leaves go. Then we have the stem of 13, decimal, then we have the leaves. Stem of 14, decimal, leaves. Stem of 15, decimal, leaves. Stem of 16, decimal, leaves. And then stem of 17, decimal, leaves. Let's put this all together and for example, let's take a look at the stem of 12. So stem of 12 and then a leaf of three and a leaf of seven. So that gives us 12 and three tenths and then 12 and seven tenths. So those are the 12 second race times, 12 and three tenths and 12 and seven tenths. So 12.3 seconds and 12.7 seconds. Let's move on to number three and do another example. So we have a stem of 16 and a leaf of seven. Looking at the stem and leaf plot, stem of 16 and leaf of seven. So let's put that stem together with that leaf. That gives us 16 decimal seven. So 16 and seven tenths. And then lastly, for number four, we have list all of the race times that are less than 14 seconds. So we need to look at 13 seconds and 12 seconds. So let's look at those stems. Let's start with the stem of 12, which we already wrote out those race times. We have 12 and 3 tenths, and then 12 and 7 tenths. Now let's move on to the stem of 13. We have a leaf of two, six, eight, and nine. So we have 13 and two tenths, 13 and six tenths, 13 and eight tenths, and then 13 and nine tenths. So those are all of the race times that are less than 14 seconds. Before we wrap up, looking at the stem and leaf plot, we have all of the race times organized. We have all of the 12 second times, 13 second times, 14 second times, 15 second times, 16 second times, and 17 second times. So everything's in order, grouped, and organized. So there you have it. There's how to read and understand stem and leaf plots. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.